Uh, in this class, we are going to discuss last topic of uh, module 3. The last topic is QR factorization. In the previous class, we discussed how to convert non-orthogonal -orth set vector into orthogonal set using gram schmidt process. Yeah. Now here, we are going to uh, discuss today class. So, you have one uh, problem usually in the question paper, the allotted for 10 marks, QR factorization. Why factorization? We convert the given matrix into product of two matrix. One matrix is nothing but Q, another matrix is nothing but R. Therefore, they, we given the name, the, the, the author who is invented author, given the name itself, this method QR factorization. Means, we are break up the given matrix into Q into R, where A is our given square matrix, okay. But each of the columns of the matrix are no, uh, uh, each of the column of the matrix uh, are all are independent, linearly independent. Keep in mind, suppose you, A is having a 3 cross 3 matrix or 4 cross 4 matrix, you pick a column, sometimes you are pick a row, okay, usually you are picking a column, each of the columns are linearly independent. Linearly independent means what? One of the column cannot be expressed in terms of the rest of the columns. That is called linearly independent. You already know that in first chapter of vector space. Now, we are make the given matrix into Q into R. Therefore, this uh, method is called QR factorization, where Q is nothing but you are make a Q, uh, Q each column of the Q R is nothing but normalized vectors of columns of given matrix. Columns of given matrix, what I taken is A. But here I taken here, sometimes they given B like that. That's why I'm using given matrix. You are first you are framing a Q. The columns of the matrix Qs are nothing but normalized vectors of columns of given matrix. And R is a upper triangular matrix with the upper triangular matrix whose entries, diagonal entries are positive. R is a what type of matrix? R is a upper triangular matrix whose diagonal entries with we are preparing a R, R is a upper triangular matrix, but along with that whose diagonal uh, entries, diagonal entries are positive values. We are prepared, that is the way we are preparing R. R is a upper triangular matrix with positive entries on its diagonal. R is a upper triangular mat matrix with positive entries of on its diagonal. That is the way we are finding R. Once you multiply Q into R, that gives us our original matrix. Why you convert into Q into R? You know that. See, suppose A is itself is a very big matrix. If you want to take any decision in your course subject, it is very complicated. Make it into product of two matrix. Then easy to do the calculation, or easy to write the program also. That is why we are adopted this QR factorization method. Now, I told beginning itself we are converted into the given matrix into Q into R. Q, the columns of the Q are nothing but normalized vectors of the columns of the matrix of the given matrix. And then R is the upper triangular matrix with positive entries of on its diagonal. Okay. Now, a is equal to Q into R, okay. Now, already I told how to find out Q. Q we get directly from that A. We are finding orthogonal, uh, orthonormal, normalized vectors, normalized vectors of what actually columns of A. You know how to find out in the previous class I explained. But how to find out R? Therefore, here what we are going to do, I am going to take Q transpose on both sides. Q transpose into Q into R. Q is a matrix, R is a matrix. You know that associative property holds good under the matrix means A, B, C are matrix A into B into C is nothing but A into B of C. Both are must be same. Now, based on uh, associate property, I group these two. But what I taken Q is nothing but each column of the Q is nothing but normalized or uh, vectors of what actually uh, columns of A. Therefore, whenever the uh, vectors are normalized vectors, the corresponding matrix, the inverse of the matrix is nothing but transpose itself. Keep in mind. 
because we are uh, replacing now uh, what about that normalized vectors of uh, the columns of A means each of the columns of Q's are nothing but normalized vector, normalized vector column. Therefore, this is uh, 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 normal orthonormal uh, uh, orthonormal vectors. Whenever the matrix is formed based on the orthonormal vectors column, the, you have basic things that uh, inverse of that orthonormal uh, columns of the vectors of matrix is nothing but transpose itself. Therefore, Q inverse is equal to Q transpose. Therefore, now Q, you know that uh, Q inverse into Q is nothing but I that implies uh, Q transpose into Q is nothing but I, okay. I into R. What is I is identity matrix, therefore we get R. This implies what is R formula? Q transpose into A. First you find out Q and then take transpose of Q multiplied with A, we get R. Keep in mind Q transpose into A is not equal to A into Q transpose because in the matrix AB is also a commutative property does not hold good under the multiplication of the matrices. Therefore, we have to take first Q transpose of Q and then you take the second matrix is A, multiply it, we get R. Cross verification multiply Q into R, not R into Q. Keep in mind Q into R, not R into Q because QR is not same as RQ. Multiply, we get same matrix. What you uh, find out uh, Q and R is correct. This is a cross check. They are going to give uh, based on that. Maybe you suppose they are going to ask this question is involved Gram committed process also. That is why uh, they are going to give a more important to, to uh, find uh, QR factorization problem. Okay. Now I am going to discuss one problem based on QR factorization. Okay. find the QR factorization for the matrix A capital A equals 1, 1, 1, 1. 0, uh, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. This is a matrix they given. Okay, fine. Okay. Yeah, Q on factorization they given uh, here. <coughs> yes. Okay. This is our QR factorization. Now, the first step is first you have to take the matrix of the values are x1, column each of the columns are x1, 1, 1, 1, 1 and uh, x2 is nothing but 0, 1, 1, 1 and then x3 is nothing but 0, 0, 1, 1. Okay. Now, these are the things you have. These vectors are not orthogonal, these are non-zero vectors, I am agree for that, but they are not orthogonal set of vectors. First you fix the column because based on the column of given matrix, you have to find out normalized uh, orthogonal set of vectors that, uh, col that frame a Q. Therefore, I have to find out ortho normalized means orthonormal set of uh, non-zero vectors I have to find out. You already know that how to find out, I explained in the previous class. Therefore, first you pick the column wise, but each of the columns are one of the vector. These vectors are not orthogonal. First you have to convert into orthogonal by using what actually Gram's committed process from Gram committed process. You must and should mention name of the process. What is my uh, V1? V1 is nothing but X1. What is V2 is nothing but uh, X2 minus inner product of X2 comma V1 divided by inner product of V1 comma V1 into V1. What is my uh, V2, V3 is X3 minus inner product of X3 V, uh, V2, V1 divided by inner product of V1 comma V1 
minus uh, into V1, okay, minus inner product of X3 comma V2 divided by inner product of uh, V2 comma V2 into V. This is a formula you already know that. What are the values you require? First you find out what is my V1? X1 itself. What is X1? 1, 1, 1, 1, okay. Next, I want to find out this. First you find out inner product of X2 comma V1. What is inner product of X2 comma V1? Column vector, therefore X2 transpose into V1. What is X2 transpose? X2 is uh, 0, 1, 1, 1 into V1. All are 1, 1. What we get? 0, 1, minus 1 into 1, 1, plus 1, plus 1, we get 3. Because we solve so many problems, therefore I am writing directly the value. What is V2? V2 is nothing but, now if you want to find out V2, still I want to find out another value. What is another value? In a product of uh, V1, comma V1 is nothing but V1 transpose into V, V1. What is V1 transpose? Just now we calculate 1, 1, 1, 1 and take it this also 1, 1, 1, 1. 1 into 1, 1 into 1, 1 into 1, we get a 4. 4 is the value. Therefore, from this, from this, what we get actually from this implies what is my V, uh, I am going to write in the next step, what is my uh, V2? V2 is nothing but X2. What is X2? 0, 0, 1, 1 uh, minus in a product of x2 comma v1 is nothing but 3. 3 divided by uh, what we get? 4. Half. What is the value uh, v1? v1 is what? 1, 1, 1, 1. Now what we get actually? You take 1, 3 by 4 inside. 0 minus 3 by 4 is minus 3 by 4. 0 minus 3 by 4 is minus 3 by 4. 1 minus 3 by 4 is 1 by 4. Again, 1 minus 3 by 4 is 1 by 4. This is a value for V2. Yeah, this is a value for V2. Next, I am going to calculate V3. If you want to calculate V3, first you find out inner product of X3 comma V1 is nothing but X3 transpose into V1. What is X3 here? 0, 0, 1, 1 and then V1. What is V1? All are 1 only. Multiply that 0 plus 0, 1 plus 1, we get 2. And also we calculate what is the inner product of uh, x3 comma v2. x3 is uh, x3 transpose into v2. What is x3? 0, 0, 1, 1. Okay, fine. Into v2. Just now we calculated v2. What is v2? Uh, minus 3 by 4. Uh, minus 3 by 4. 1 by 1 by 4 and 1 by 4 okay multiply this we get what 0 0 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 quarter plus quarter half we get 1 by 2 and also apart from that I need a value of inner product of which value v2 comma v2 is nothing but v2 transpose into v v2 what is v2 transpose minus 3 by 4 minus 3 by 4 1 by 4, 1 by 4, okay, into what is the uh, inner product of this, uh, then uh, column, uh, minus 3 by 4, minus 3 by 4, 1 by 4 and also 1 by 4, uh, multiply this, what we get, once you multiply this, minus 3 by 4 whole square means 9 by 16, again we get 9 by 16, okay, next we get what actually, 1 by 16. This is also we get 1 by 16. Now we get 20 by 16. Yes, 20 by 16 means uh, 5 by 4 is the value of inner product of V2 comma uh, uh, V2. Uh, uh, here, yeah, uh, is, this is what actually is correct actually. Uh, V2 oh, value is nothing but, uh, yeah, 1 minute. I did anywhere uh, mistake for this, uh, just uh, want to see because 3 by 4, yeah, V2, what is V2 actually, X2, ah, yeah, I did mistake here, one minute, I am teasing, what is the mistake I did, what is V1111, uh, V1, what is V2, V2 value is X2, what is X2, this is my X2, 
what is x to 0 1 1 ok. You subtract here is not uh, this, this is actually 1 by 4, it is not an issue do not worry 1 by 4. Yeah, I, I want to make little bit change 1 by 4. Now, why because 1 minus 3 by 4 except that uh, the rest of thing is 1 by 4 ok. While taking this here what is the value here 1 by 2, 1 by 4 ok. You multiply this is not does not change the value because 0 0 this is also 0 not a value. Please try to understand that while doing V2 I did mistake I to take X2 what is X2 0 1 1. Instead of this, I take an xt. That's why I did mistake here, but not a issue for this. This I want to know that, yeah, v2 comma v2 here. What happened? This is one by four. That's all. This is one by four. Okay. Uh, this is one by four means one by sixteen. Ten plus twelve. We get uh, what actually? Twelve by sixteen. Three by four is the answer. Yeah. If you want to repeat once again, this is I did mistake. X2 minus x2 is 0, 1, 1. That is why we get 1 minus 3 by 1 by 4. This is not an issue for this value. Why? Because uh, 0, 0, therefore this becomes 0, same value. For this, have to make a change 1 by 16. Then instead of 20, what we are get? 12. 12 by 16 is 3 by 4. Next, I want to find out uh, what actually <coughs> v3. What is my V3? V3 is nothing but X3. What is now X3 is 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, okay. Minus inner product of uh, X3 comma V1 is 2 divided by inner product of V1 comma V1. What is inner product of V1 comma V1 uh, is uh, we calculated inner product of, uh, yeah, V1 comma V1 is 4. If we observe here. In a product V1 comma V1 is 4, 1, 2, 4 half. <coughs> what is the value of we are going to take is V1. What is V1 is 1, 1, 1. Yeah, minus. In a product of X3 V2, in a product of X3 V2 is actually 1 by 2. Whole divided by in a product of V2 comma V2 is 3 by 4. Okay, half. V2, what is uh, uh, V2 value is minus 3 by 4, 1 by 4, 1 by 4, okay. Now, what we get uh, 0, 0, 1, 1 is actually, uh, then after the uh, simplification for this, my uh, minus 2, 2 1s are 2 2s are, we get half, 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 okay. Now, this 1 by 2 into 3 by 4, 4 by 3, 3 by 4 means 4 by 3, 2 1s are 2 2 are. Now, what we get is 2 by 3, we get 2 by 3. After the simplification for this, we get 2 by 3. Multiplied with 2 by 3, what we get minus of, yeah, minus 3 by 4 into 2 by 3, what we get actually minus of. Again, multiplied with uh, uh, 2 by 3 into 1 by 4, what we get? 1 by 6. Uh, for all, for 1 by 4, for all what we get? 1 by 6, 1 by 6, okay. And then simplify for this, I am going to write, do it uh, subtraction, 0 minus half, minus into minus plus half, we get uh, the 0 value here. Minus of minus into minus plus of 0. Again, second value is minus of this minus 1 by 6. Simplify that minus 2 by 3 we get. Similarly, 1 minus of is of minus 1 by 6. We get a minus uh, 1, we get 1 by 3. 1 minus of 1 minus of minus 1 by 6. Simplify that we get 1 by 3. Again, 1 this also we get 1 by 3. So please uh, do it. It's very simple simplification. This is okay 0. Second one minus half minus 1 by 6 is minus 2 by 3. 1 minus half is half minus 1 by 6 is 1 by 3. Same thing here also 1 by 3. This is my V3. Now these are the values of V1, V2, V3. Next we have to normalize for the first before going to normalize. First you find out the inner product value. What is a V1? Inner product of V1 comma V2 is nothing but V1 transpose of V2. What is V1? 
just now we calculated. Yeah, uh, once we get V1, V2, V3, now uh, I will move to the uh, next step, I will do it uh, neatly on the board, uh, we, otherwise, uh, otherwise, uh, okay, first you do it uh, in the here only, what is that uh, V1, 1, 1, 1, 1, okay, into what is uh, V2, just now we calculated what is a V2, V2 is nothing but this, minus 3 by 4, 1 by 4, 1 by 4, 1 by 4. You multiply that. What do we get actually? Minus 3 by 4 plus 1 by 4 into 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4. What do we get? 0. Yeah. Similarly, find out what is the inner product of V1, V3. Is V1 transpose into V3 is nothing but 1, 1, 1, 1 into the 0 minus 2 by 3, 1 by 3, 1 by 3. Multiply that we get 0 minus 2 by 3 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3. What do we get actually? 0. Okay. Next, what is the inner product of V2 comma V3 is nothing but V2 transpose of V3. What is V2? Uh, minus 1, 3 by 4, okay, uh, comma 1 by 4, 1 by 4, 1 by 4, okay, into V3, V3 is 0, minus 2 by 3, 1 by 3, 1 by 3. Multiply this, we get 0, minus uh, what 2 by 4, 3 is 12, plus 1 by 12, plus 1 by 12. Add this, we get 0. This shows that V1, V2, V3 are orthogonal set of non-zero vectors. Yeah, that form a orthogonal basis. Therefore, V1, what is my V1 is very important. V1 I need 1, 1, 1. What is my V2? Uh, minus 3 by 4, 1 by 4, 1 by 4, 1 by 4. What is my V3? Is uh, 0, minus 2 by 3, 1 by 3, 1 by 3. Okay. Yeah. Therefore, V1 V2, V3 is an ortho, orthogonal set of non-zero vectors. Therefore, this form a orthogonal basis. This form a orthogonal basis, but we need orthonormal basis vectors. Therefore, what, what we are going to do? I have to do the normalize U1. is nothing but V1 divided by norm of V1. And uh, u2 is nothing but uh, v2 divided by norm of v2. And then u3 is nothing but what? V, uh, v3 divided by norm of v3. Okay. Now, what is norm of v1? Norm of v1 is nothing but square root of inner product of v1 comma v1 is nothing but, yeah, take that uh, square of the each value, 1 square, plus 1 square, plus 1 square, plus 1 square, what we get root 4, what is root 4 is 2, yeah, root 4 is, uh, my value is uh, root 4, root 4, root 4, uh, the value is nothing but 2, okay. Now, I am going to take what is a norm of uh, V2, is nothing but square root of in a product of V1, V2 comma V2, okay, is nothing but square root of the whole square of the each value. What is our V2 value is uh, minus 3 by 4, 9 by 16 plus 1 by 16 plus 1 by 16 and also 1 by 16, right. Now, we get what is that uh, root of 12 by 16 is nothing but root 3 root. Uh, uh, then if you want to uh, simplify uh, further uh, for uh, uh, V2 value, yeah, now we get uh, this is cancel with uh, 4 and then 3, what we get root 3 by 2 is the answer. And then norm of V3, what is norm of V3? It is square root of inner product of V2 comma V2, it is nothing but square root of 0 square uh, minus 2 by 3 whole square means 4 by 9 plus 1 by 9 plus 1 by 9, square root of 6 by 9, 6 by 9 is nothing but uh, what actually root of uh, uh, what about that uh, 2 by 3, 
if we want to find out like that now we get uh, r root of 3 by 3 r you have to take root 6 by 3 both are same keep root 6 as itself root 9 is 3 whatever maybe we have to take it and simplify it and then I am going to take this u1 uh, v1 divided by norm of that what is v, uh, norm of v1 1 by 2 of v1 1 1 1 1 is nothing but a a of okay and then what we are going to do u2 what is my u2 uh, v norm of v2 what is norm of v2 is root reciprocal 2 by root 3 2 by root 3 of what is a v2 minus 3 by 4 yes Ma 1 by 4 1 by 4 and also 1 by 4. You simplify this, what we get uh, u2 after the simplification for this, you simplify that we get root 3 minus root 3 by 2, 1 by 2 root 3, 1 by 2 root 3 and also other 2, uh, two also 1 by 2 root 3 and also 1 by 2 root 3. You simplify that, I written already on the board how we get, okay. In the next step, I have to find out uh, u3, what is u3 is uh, norm of v3, what is norm of v3 is this 3 divided by reciprocal of that 1 by norm of v3, now uh, one, uh, 3 by root 6 of v3, 0 minus 2 by 3, 1 by 3 and 1 by 3, simplify for this, after the simplification we get u3 is nothing but 0 minus 2 by root 6, 1 by root 6 and also 1 by root 6, yeah. Just 3, 3 cancel, now we get uh, minus 2 by root 6, 1 by root 6, 1 by root 6. Now these are the values we get u1, u2, u3. Now we have to verify, this is a lengthy, but we can't help u1, comma u2, inner product I have to verify. What is u inner product of u1, comma u2 is nothing but u1 transpose into uh, u2. What is u1 transpose? Because column vector I have to take transpose. <coughs> u1 just now we written on the board minus root 3 by 2 uh, comma uh, 1 by 2 root 3, 1 by 2 root 3 and also 1 by 2 root 3 into u2. <coughs> what is u2? Uh, this is u1, yeah. Uh, u1, we are not calculating uh, u2 right yeah first try to calculate u2 yeah this is for u1 ah yeah u2 is this u1 is this correct inner product of u1 comma u2 okay is nothing but half 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 okay into this minus root 3 by 2 1 by 2 root 3 1 by 2 root 3 and also 1 by 2 root 3 okay simplify this. Now you multiply that, what we get 1 by root 3 by 2 uh, this. Now you simplify root 3 minus root 3 by 4, okay. Multiply that, uh, what we get actually uh, minus, uh, plus uh, 1 by 4 root 3, yeah. And then plus 1 by uh, 4 root 3, plus 1 by 4 root 3. Then, now see inner product of u1 comma u2 is nothing but 1 by 2, 1 by 2, 1 by 2, 1 by 2 into this because u1 transpose into u2. You have u1, you have u2. You multiply that, just I am multiplying uh, minus root 3 by 4, 1 by 4 root 3 plus 1 by 4, 3, add these 3, what we get? 3, uh, 3 by root 3, that is maybe minus root 3 by 4, okay. 3 divided by 4 root 3 is nothing but uh, what we get actually minus 3 root 3 by 4 plus root 3 by 4, we get 0. Similarly, in a product of u1, u3, u1 is nothing but half, 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 half. And uh, what is u3? Is already is there on the board. 0 minus 2 by root 6 
6, 1 by root 6, 1 by root 6 and also 1 by root 6. This is a taken a little bit lengthy problem, they are given so many times, 0, this is 0. Mm, next is uh, uh, minus, uh, see you have to multiply uh, this value, okay, minus 2 by 2 into root 6, okay, fine. This is what happened, I have to multiply. Uh, 1 by 2 root 6 plus 1 by 2 root 6. See, observe half plus half is 1, these uh, 2 cancel, we get 1 by root 6 plus 1 by root 6. What we get actually? 0. What we get? 0 only. Okay. In the next step, we want to find out what happened in a product of, in a product of. Uh, u2 and u3. What is u2? This is uh, uh, u2, yeah, minus root 3 by 2, 1 by 2 root 3, 1 by 2 root 3 and also 1 by 2 root 3 into, into, yeah, into calculate what actually uh, this uh, u3. What is my u3? Is, uh, 0 minus 2 by root 6 plus 1 by root 6 and also 1 by root 6. Multiply it. Once you multiply, what we get? Minus uh, this is 0, this we get 2 to cancel, uh, 2 by 2 into root 3 into root 3 is root 18 and then 1 by 2 into root 18 plus 1 by 2 into root 18. See, observe 2 to cancel, r plus plus 1, we get 0. This shows that inner product of these values are 0, fine. And also, I have to verify it, what happened? Norm of this, what is uh, u1 norm? Means inner product of, uh, square root of inner product of u1 comma norm. Norm is nothing but, you please try to understand, you want to find out norm values is, normalize inner product of u1 comma u1. What is inner product of uh, just try to not for normalized value I to calculate find out i is equal to j inner product of u1 comma u1 is nothing but uh, u1 transpose into u1 is nothing but half 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 and then I to multiply 1 by half 1 by half 1 by half 1 by half. We get 1 by 4, 1 by 4, 1 by 4. Just you multiply it. What we get? Answer is 1. Similarly, I have to verify inner product of u2 comma u2. Is u2 transpose into u2? u2 is, u2 is what actually? Uh, minus root 3 by 2, 1 by 2 root 3. 1 by 2 root 3 and also 1 by 2 root 3 into this minus root 3 by 2, 1 by 2 root 3, 1 by 2 root 3 and also 1 by 2 root 3. You multiply and simplify that, definitely we get 1. I will leave that for exercise because very simple, just multiply and simplify, we get 100% 1. Similarly, find out in a product of u3 comma u3 is u3 transpose into u3. Again, you do it this 0, uh, what is uh, uh, the value? Minus 2 by root 6, 1 by root 6, 1 by root 6 and then you take the column of this 0, minus 2 by root 6, 1 by root 6, 1 by root 6. Definitely after the multiplication of this, we get 1. This shows that uh, the vectors u1, u2, u3 is an ortho normal non-zero vectors, ortho normal set of non-zero vectors. This ortho normal non-zero vectors means that in place it forms a, it forms ortho normal basis. Orthonormal basis. Now, what we are expecting? Q is nothing but columns of 
the vectors of ve form a orthonormal basis means I make a q a first column of q is nothing but u1 second column of q is nothing but u2 third column of q is nothing but u3 because well, what are the vectors form orthonormal basis that uh, framing a q we have already discussed beginning of the uh, class ok. Now I think everyone is clear how we get this part we are going to frame q now we are framing q while framing a q we are writing q of first column is nothing but what are the vectors form a orthonormal basis what are the vectors form a orthonormal basis u1 u2 u3 first column of u1 are nothing but 1 by 2 1 by 2 1 by 2 1 by 2 and second column of u uh, uh, q is nothing but u2 is minus 3 root 3 by 2 1 by 2 root 3 1 by 2 root 3 1 by 2 root 3 and then third column is 0 minus 2 by root 6 1 by 2 root, root 3 and also 1 by root 6 yes. Now, with uh, this is a thing we uh, we calculated uh, what is uh, u1, u2, u3. You do it and uh, uh, this this is a q. From the q, how to find out r? r is nothing but q transpose into a. What is my q transpose? What you have the uh, row become column. 1 by 2 minus root 3 by 2, 0 this is u1 actually this is u2 this is a way I to frame our q I think everyone is clear how we get q and next uh, 1 by 2 yeah you make row into column minus 2 by root 3 minus 2 by root 6 and then uh, 1 by 2 1 by 2 root 3 and then 1 by 2 root 3 and then you take the last row 1 by 2 1 by 2 root 3 and then 1 by root 6 yeah uh, this is a uh, what about q transpose ok in the q transpose uh, yeah a make of uh, uh, minus root 3 by 2 ok fine 1 by root 6 uh, 1 by root 3 uh, what is my q q is nothing but actually this is also 1 by root 6 sorry this is also 1 by root 6 is uh, right now I do not have that already I discussed that is 0 minus 2 by root 6, 1 by root 6 and 1 by root 6, u1, u2, u3. Once you make it uh, row into column, yeah, this is become what actually uh, 1 by, uh, yeah, yes, this uh, row become column, okay, fine, yeah, last value, 1 by root 6 is correct. Now, is correct for uh, Q transpose, yeah into a, a you already know that, what is a, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, you multiply this row into column as to multiply, we are expecting R is a what, is a upper triangular matrix with uh, positive entries on its diagonal R, yeah, multiply row into column, R plus R plus R plus R what we get if you want to write half plus half plus half plus half plus half we get here ok. Next move to second row 0, 0 is cancelled we get half plus half plus half ok fine this is a second entry and next you take a third column half plus half plus half because first two values are 0. Next move to the second row ok multiplied by 1 what we get minus root 3 by 2 plus uh, 1 by 2 root 3 plus 1 by 2 root 3 plus 1 by 2 root 3 ok. Next move to the next uh, column this second column with second row what we get 1 by uh, 2 root 3 plus 1 by 2 root 3 plus 1 by 2 root 3. Okay, move to the next one. What do we get actually? Yeah, if you want to add, see just a simple, if you want to add, uh, multiplied with this, these two are 0, 1 by 2 root 3, 1 by 2 root 3, we get 2 by 2 root 3. This is if you want to make it 
this part is easy 3 by 2 root 3 ok because it is very simple 0 1 by 2 root 3 1 by 2 root 3 1 3 we get 3 by root 3 move to the last column what we get minus 2 by root 6 plus 1 by root 6 because first value is 0 because uh, first value is 0 here ok move to this what we get uh, uh, first value 0, here also first value 0, we get a same value for the this one, yeah, minus 2 by root 6 plus 1 by root 6 plus 1 by root 6, yeah. What we get uh, next, uh, last value, this is 0, this is 0, only we get uh, 1 by root 6, this is 0, this is 0 because multiplied by 0, but I to multiply with 1 for last row with the last column. 1 by root 6, 1 by root 6, what we get? 1 by 2 root 6. And then I have to simplify for this. R equals, yeah, half, 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 half is we get 1, yeah. Yeah, we get uh, uh, 1 here and then uh, 1, 1 plus 1 plus 1 is, uh, sorry, uh, yeah, 2. 1 plus 1, now here we get 3 by 2. Yeah, here we get 1, okay, fine. And then uh, here observe carefully, now I have to simplify for this, actually once you simplify for this part, we, uh, this part, what we get actually, uh, minus root 3 by 2 plus 3 by 2 root 3. 3 by root 3 can also be written as, three, root 3 cancel with 3, what is the remaining here, minus root 3 by 2 plus root 3 by 2, what is the value is 0. 0. Please try to understand. Suppose it is not clear, you do it separately because simple simplification. First you group these 3, we get 3 by uh, 2 root 3. That simplify that, we get root 3 by 2. Is cancelled with this, we get 0. Next, this value, if you want to simplify root 3, then we get root 3 by 2 because 3 cancel with root 3. Now 2, 2 cancel, we get 1 by root 3. Okay. Now, 1 by 2 root 6 plus 1 by root 6, 1 by, we get 2 by root 6 is cancelled with minus 2 by root 6 is 0. This also same thing. Now, this if we want to simplify, otherwise leave it 2 by root 6 as itself. 2 by root 6 as itself or if you want to simplify uh, further, if we are required, root 6 can be written as root 3 into root 2 root 2 is cancelled with the 2, the remaining if you want to write this or if you want to write root of 2 by 3, choice of you. Root 2 can be written as root 2 into root 2, root 2 is cancelled with the root, uh, root 2 in the denominator, remaining is this, otherwise leave it. Now what I told R is a upper triangular matrix uh, uh, with uh, positive entries on its diagonal. What is a diagonal? This is diagonal. You are expecting upper triangular matrix and also observe carefully principal diagonal values must be positive. Uh, is a diagonal value is a positive entry on its diagonal. It satisfied that. Therefore, now I am going to leave that part. You just you multiply Q into R, definitely we get Q. Multiplied by Q into R, not for R, A into Q, Q into R, definitely we get A. I am not going to do that multiplication part, it is very easy. Now that is a cross check. You have Q, this is Q, multiplied with R, definitely we get A. Suppose you do not get it A, what you are find, find out Q and R is not correct. Usually you take care for finding R because U1, U2, U3 we get uh, clarification because it must be a orthonormal basis vectors. But only thing is you must be take care for R. Once we get R, before move to the next step, next problem, please work, uh, work it out what happened Q into R. You find out and leave that part Q into R. You have Q multiplied with R, definitely what we are expecting here, definitely we get that you know how to multiply, ordinary multiplication A into B like that you do it. Then this method is called QR factorization method. This is a way I have to convert A into product of Q. Well, Q is nothing but is a matrix. Each column of the, uh, the Q matrix is nothing but orthonormal basis vectors of columns from the given matrix. What is the given matrix A? And R is a upper triangular matrix whose entries 
uh, with uh, entries, uh, diagonal entries are positive. How I have to find out? First, you have to find out ortho from A. Find out ortho orthonormal basis vectors. What are the orthonormal basis vectors we get? You write it in each column of Q. And then you find out R is nothing but Q transpose into A. Using this formula, you find out. Finally, we get Q and R multiplied, not don't find multiplied R into Q because R in Q is not equal to Q into R. You take first Q and multiply it with R. Why? Commutative property does not hold good under the matrix. Therefore, once you multiply that, we get A. This is this method is called QR factorization. Okay. Now, I move to another last one problem is given in the model paper. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, similar type problem, you please refer the textbook, uh, do it or refer a model paper and question paper, do it. Once you know the method, how to apply the QR factorization method, next is easy to solve the rest of the problems. Yeah, this is the last problem in the module 4, but we already discussed this type of problem, but it is given in the different way. Let, if this problem is given in the model paper, let minus 1 plus 1 is a closed interval, have, have the in, integral, the given inner product in the form of integral, inner product, inner product of P of x and Q of x is nothing but integration of minus 1 to 1 P of x and q of x with respect to x and let p of x equals and let p of x equals x square is given polynomial x square minus x and q of x is nothing but x plus 1. Find, find first one inner product of p of x q of x Second one, norma P of x and uh, norma Q of x. And also I have to calculate third one, the cosine of the angle between the vectors P of x and Q of x, okay. Now P of x and Q of x. Now uh, they given, what they given based on that, they define in a product P of x, Q of x is nothing but they define in the form of integration. Integration of minus 1 to 1 P of x, Q of x. They given what is P of x, what is Q of x. I want to find out inner product of P of x and uh, Q of x. What is inner product of Q of x and uh, uh, P of x? I am going to take, you know that what is the inner product of uh, P of x, Q of x is minus 1 to plus 1 P of x and Q of x, okay, with respect to x. This is the way they given already defined. Now, what is my P of x? The given x square minus x. What is my Q of x? x plus 1, okay. It is nothing but simplify that. Minus 1 to 1 into multiply. x, x cube minus x square first multiplied with x and multiplied by 1 plus x uh, or the, uh, x square, yes, and then minus x. What is the remaining for uh, this one? x cube plus x square minus x. So, just you multiplied by x, multiplied by 1, what we get? x cube minus x square plus x square minus x. What is the remaining? x cube minus x with respect to x. Integrate it. What is the uh, integration of this? x to the power of 4 by 4. What is the integration of x is x square by 2? Apply the limit. Or if we want to do it a simple way for integration, why? Because we know definite integral property. What is my definite integral? Minus a to a f of x dx is twice of 0 to a f of x dx the if f of x and 
e1 function f of function f of x is an e1 function 0 if f of x is an odd function is an odd function i think uh, is clear this part you, this is a we already studied we already derived this uh, definite integral property in second quiz 11 now here this also minus 1 to 1 instead of a what you have 1 they having negative to positive limit that form why don't you go for uh, uh, even or odd x cube i'll take minus 1 to 1 x cube with respect to x minus of minus 1 to 1 x with respect to x observe x cube is an odd function therefore from this definite integral property this value 0 x is an odd function therefore both the function is odd function from the definite integral property what about inner product of p of, uh, p of x and q of x is 0 or you suppose you confuse this method you write it uh, directly integrate apply the limits we get same answer since x cube and x are odd functions you must ensure to mention it odd functions okay next i want to find out second one what's the second one norm of p of x norm of p of x is nothing but square root of inner product of p of x comma p of x is <coughs> nothing but square root of integration of minus 1 to plus 1 p of x whole square p of x whole square dx yeah is nothing but integration of minus 1 to plus 1 <coughs> what is uh, p of x x square minus x whole square with respect to x now we have to expand this uh, integration of minus 1 to 1 a minus b whole square means 6 to the power of 4 uh, minus 2 a b 2 a and b 2 x cube plus b square what is b square is x square with respect to x. Now after you substitute p of x whole square this is x square minus x whole square minus 1 to 1 dx. Now we expand just like a minus b whole square a square minus 2 a b plus b square. Before going to evaluate this integral, what I did, I am go for even or odd. x to the power of 4 is an even function from the definite integral property that can be written as twice of 0 to 1 x to the power of 4 dx. But second term is x cube, is an odd function. Is an odd function from this property 0, therefore I am neglecting. But the last term is an even function because x square, therefore retaining. Therefore again square root of 2 into what is integration of x to the power of 4 is x power of uh, x to the power of 4 is nothing but x to the power of 5 by 5 plus what is a uh, uh, integration of x square x to the power of 3 by 3 what is the limit 0 to 1 limit is 0 to 1 okay the next step is into uh, square root of 2 by 5 apply the upper limit what is the upper limit is 1 minus low, low limit is 0 we get 2 by 5 plus 2 by 3 into apply the upper limit is 1, lower limit is 0, we get uh, 1 by 3. Take LCM if you want to simplify further, 15 is a LCM, okay. Uh, 6 plus 10, well, 16 by 15 is the answer. 16 by uh, 15 is the answer, is the norm of P of x. Do not confuse, norm of P of x is nothing but square root of the inner product of p of x p of x you know how to define inner product p of x is p of x into q of x what is q of x here p of x only we get square root and then instead of uh, expand and uh, evaluate uh, after the expansion i leave the sum of middle part middle term because it is an odd function from the definite integral property okay now i move to how to find out similarly norm of q of x yeah norm of q of x is nothing but again square root of in a product of from the definition of norm q of x comma q of x. But they define where in the problem in terms of the integral minus 1 to plus 1 p q of x into q of x both the functions same we get q of x whole square with respect to x we have a square root. 
na square root of minus 1 to 1. Uh, what is the function for q of x is x plus 1 whole square with respect to x. Now, uh, there are two way I have to evaluate expand this x square plus 2x plus 1 with respect to x or if you want to evaluate directly also choice of you. Now, first function from the definite integral property the first function must be e 1 function therefore, twice of 0 to 1 x square with respect to it. But second function is x is an odd function the from the definite integral property that integral value 0. This is a constant you cannot apply anything and leave it as itself 1 with respect to x integrated. <coughs> yeah. Now, 2 into what is integration of x square x cube by 3 0 to 1 and then you integrate x what is integration of 1 with respect to x, x minus 1 to 1. Keep in mind this is a constant, you cannot write constant is an even function or odd function, therefore, I am leaving as itself. Uh, what is the value here? Integration uh, sorry square root of 2 by 3 upper limit is 1, leave it, but while upping the limit here has to take care 1 minus of the lower limit. What is the lower limit? Minus 1. What do we get? 2, 2 by 3 plus 2. If we want to take LCM, 3 is a LCM, we get root of 8 by 3. 3 is LCM, 3 2s are 6 plus 2, we get 8. Now, while doing the this step, we must and should have to take care. x square is an even function between minus 1 to 1 from the definite integral property, x is a odd function, this is 0, this is twice of 0 to 1. But 1 is a constant, you cannot apply even or odd, therefore, write it minus 1 to 1, integrate, apply carefully upper and lower limit upper limit minus of the lower limit, we get plus 2. Most of the student doing mistake, they are writing 0, no, minus minus we get plus. This is root of, uh, what is the value here? Root of 8 by 3. I think uh, uh, 2 by 3 and then uh, this is a thing and then I move to the next step, next uh, one. What is the next one? I want to find out. Uh, third one, fourth one actually. Fourth, yeah, first one, second one, uh, yeah, third one. These two comes under second one only. This is a third one. Okay. Uh, the cosine of the angle between the vectors p of x and q of x. The formula I have cos theta is nothing but inner product of u comma v divided by norm of u into norm of v. Means in this case, cos theta must be equal to what is my u p of x. What is my q? what is my v q of x divided by norm of p p of x into norm of q of x. This is a formula to find out this I have written general formula to find out cos theta you already know that in a, a vector. Therefore, norm of uh, 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 you already know that this formula where in the vector and in vector calculus same formula in a product of u comma v there we are written in terms of vector here we are taken in a product norm of u into norm of v. Now, I am changing u and v is p of x and q of x. Now, you substitute these values in, uh, uh, you already know that what is the inner product of, uh, what is the inner product of uh, p of x and q of x. Cos theta must be equal to inner product of p of x, q of x is what actually 0 divided by inner product of, uh, so norm of p of x square root of 16 by 15 and also q of x is nothing but square root of 8 by 3. <clears throat> yeah, now we get 0, theta is not, cos theta is equal to cos theta we get 0, 0 angle, theta is equal to cos inverse 0, okay. This is a way I have to find out they allotted for this problem 6 marks in the model paper. I think everyone is clear for this how to do, even though simple problem I discussed. Now I am going to close module uh, 3, next class I am going to start uh, module 4, thank you. Thank you.